you ever find yourself reading a nice book, comfortable in your chair? Oh, but oh, hold on, was that the text? Oh, yeah, it was the text. Ah, <sighs> this is getting good. I'm so, what? No, she didn't. <laughs> Oh. So you're pretty much, you'll do just about anything. Read, write, catch up on some work. What you really should be doing is math. But hey, I'm working, I'm writing, I'm catching up on some reading, taking notes, but what I should really be doing this no 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 I'm being productive I'm I'm doing other things I need to do no I think it's time you stop procrastinating and get to it no the cell phone's not gonna save you not this time you can't avoid it hey you look like that's what I'm here for. So, okay, we kind of need to get some things straightened out. This needs to be put away. This is great, but there's not the time for it. Do I really have to say it? It's time for this, it's time for this, and yes, it's time for this. So, Smile, because you're about to learn what you need to do, stop procrastinating, and get it done. So one of the things I use to stay focused is I use the Pomodoro technique, and there's actually an app, but you can use any timer on your phone. Don't chat. Don't answer the phone while it's important. So here's the Pomodoro app. It's a tomato. Isn't that cute? And you can set it up for 25 minute intervals with 5 minute rest periods. After the 4th Pomodoro or 25 minute period, you get a 15 minute break. This really helps you to focus. Remember, you are thinking about working for 25 minutes, not, hey, I need to get all this homework done in 25 minutes. No, no. You're telling yourself, I'm going to work. Focus mode, 25 minutes. Distractions, no more. So you want to find an area that doesn't have a lot of distractions. TV, people screaming, you know. You don't want to be in a park with children screaming. So then you need to make sure you have all your materials. The tabs that you're using, notes or videos that you're going to watch. Something to write it in. So, paper, notebook, notepad. If you're doing math, you're going to need a pencil. Calculator, if it says to use one or to check your work quickly. I think that's it. And a good mindset, okay? You can do this. You're just working. Focus for 25 minutes. Think about the process. Think about how proud you're going to be. Give yourself a reward, okay? So when you're studying math and they tell you something, and you learn about something like you're talking about ratios, here is a set of problems. But they're all the same thing. Determine whether the ratios are proportional, equivalent. There's about 20 questions. You're trying to study for an exam. This is where good old interleave practice comes in. That means that you're not going to just practice 20 of the same types of problems. You're going to mix it up with the things that you've learned from before or that are within the same chapter. And maybe even so what I like to do problems. is go to the section where you have like the review section. They have all types of questions that were in the chapter. Mix 
them up. Write them on your own page. Don't go one, two, three, four. Do one from here. Skip to nine. Go to 65. Oh yeah. Speaking from personal experience. It's important for you to actually practice working out the problem. It's different to watch a video, to be in class, to see a lecture, to listen to your professor and to be like, yeah, I get this. <laughs> that makes sense. Totally. And then you have to actually solve problems on test. It's not the same. Please, practice. Your brain wants to know, wait, how? What of the things that I learned, what tools do I need to apply now? What strategies do I need to use right now in this problem? Oh, and the last thing. When you're studying, it's really good to test yourself, especially to recall. So let's say you're studying. There's usually a section where you're reading. Perhaps you're reading about decimals. After reading the section on terminating, non-terminating, and repeating decimals, in bold, <laughs> stop, look away from the book, and try to recall what you just read. If you don't know, well, then you can look back at it. But every time, you'll just get better and better. Another good tip is to review your notes that you took that day after class. Um, or any notes you took yourself and right before you go to sleep, sleep. And tomorrow um, when I need this information or maybe it's something I want to remember and tomorrow I will be able to recall it better so how to test yourself okay so you've already been studying for a bit maybe you did two pomodoros maybe you studied yesterday and now you want to test yourself on what you know or what you learned in class Gather up some questions again, and then write them down and try to solve them. Easy as that. See how you did, see what problems you're having most trouble with, and that is the part that you should go back to and review. The other stuff you seem to get, you seem to have, and you don't have to review it again. Why waste your time? Why waste your little working memory slots on that when you've already created harsh, you've already begun to create a chunk so don't get back to that yet. So work on the ones that you need to work on. Then tomorrow you can do some more study. Okay, because you do need repetition, okay? So you will be seeing those problems again. You're not gonna just forget about it. And now I'm gonna reward myself with a little song and